Okay guys, today I bought something special. I've been hounding this gentleman for a while to get this gun and I've been, finally, it happened. So here it is, it's Cabot, very big Cabot. I kinda like the Robocop gun, but I still dig it for sure. Mainly because meteorite grips, which is rare because I'd never thought I'd own something that's you know four and a half billion years old. But to give you a little bit of the backstory on this is I was watching TV on a Wednesday night, one of the gun shows, and I saw this pop up in the screen because they were talking about Cabot and their meteorite gun, which I think they sold for four and a half million. And I paused the TV, took a picture of it immediately, and I said, oh my God, I gotta have this gun. So I sent the picture to them through Instagram. They got back with me and they said, that's the owner's personal collection. We are not sure if he'll let it loose. And I said, okay, fine. Keep me in the loop, let me know. So I hadn't heard back in a while, sent a message back. I said, hey, is he willing to get rid of it? And they said, yes. And I said, perfect. He, then it, they proceeded to ask me, are you going to NRA show? I said, yes, I am. And I said, okay, I'll meet you guys there. I'll come to the booth. Please bring it. I want to see it. Sure enough, I get there, go to the booth. I saw it, fell in love with it immediately. At the time, I believe it had mammoth grips. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I want to say it did. And of course it looked beautiful like that. But there's something I always wanted was meteorite grips. And I asked him at the time, I said, is it possible that you could put meteorite grips in? And he says, yes, I still think we have some available. We can definitely do that for you. And I said, cool. Let me know when it's done. It will make a deal happen. So about two months later, I get a phone call. It's from my buddy at Black Rose, who is a dealer for Cabot. And he says, guess what I have in my hand? I said, I don't know what. And he says, you know that gun you've been bugging Cabot about? And I said, yeah. And he says, I've got it. And I said, kick ass. And I said, let me know a dollar amount. I'll wire the money. He says, done. So I just came in probably about a week ago and I've been having my hands on it. Can't stop looking at it. And I really want to shoot it and I haven't shot it yet. I figured I'd wait until we do the video and then we'll get my natural reaction. So let's go over this piece. It has a Damascus slide and brake made out of stainless steel. And it's very long. I want to say this is a six inch. It did come with a five inch barrel. So you don't have to take so you can take the brake off, which I don't think I ever will because I think it looks much cooler this way. Definitely not a concealed carry gun unless you want to just put it on your shoulder or I wouldn't put it in your pants by any means. But I love it and I can't wait to shoot it. Knowing that it has four and a half billion year old meteorite on a gun is amazing to me. The technology for them to do this blows my mind. Even the Whitman statin, which is the lines in the grips itself that was created while the meteor was flying through space. I think it goes hot and cold, hot and cold. Not 100% sure on that, but I'm sure you guys will correct me if I'm wrong. But the coolest thing in it is this little spot right here. I don't know if the camera will see it. When they were making the grips, they found this little spot, which I guess another meteorite or something during the big bang, maybe hit it and hit this meteorite and impaled itself. So it just basically stayed in there and never came out. They didn't find it until they were making the grips. So this is extremely, extremely rare. God knows I'd love to know what it was. I'm assuming another meteor or something, who knows, but it's so damn cool. A set of meteorite grips is about 1,156 grams. So if you do the math, it's current price is six to $8 a gram. So you guys could do the math, it's not cheap, but to me, it's well worth it. So let's go give it a shot, get my real reactions and See how it feels. Man, guys, look at the Whitman satin in the grips. Is that phenomenal? I mean, that's four and a half billion years old. I mean, holy shit, it's kind of wild. I get to shoot a gun with that kind of stuff on there. It's amazing. We gotta give this a shot. You know, they even laser engraved the mags. Looks freaking phenomenal, badass. Let's try this, guys, we gotta try this. I can't hold back anymore. 45 caliber, which I'm not gonna feel that much, I don't believe in this gun. The weight is and the comp. You guys ready? Just like I expected, no recoil, comp, phenomenal. I mean, the weight, of course. Guys, go shoot one. You got to. Oh my God, guys, this thing's phenomenal. Of course, everything Cabot makes is phenomenal. The weight of this is what, of course, helps with the recoil. But the distribution of the weight is pretty even to me. It's not too heavy in the front, not too heavy in the rear. It's pretty equal. So I love it. The brake, of course, helps with the recoil. Keeps shooting flat. I kind of like the trigger because of the stars, because basically you're shooting a gun with a shooting star on it and you got stars on the trigger. That's pretty damn cool. Sights, great as usual. Maybe I can get him to put meteorite sights on it. 
I think that'd be pretty damn cool. I'll have to talk to him about it. I don't know if he have any more meteorite left, but if you guys ever get a chance to shoot a gun that has a shooting star on it, do it because the grips is not as bad as what you think. It's not danky, it's not gonna hurt, you're not gonna hurt it. I mean, they made a gun that's made completely out of meteorite and they shot it and did fine. So the grips gotta be the same, but please give it a shot if you ever get a chance to. Okay guys, hit like and subscribe and have an awesome year. Take care.